silent terror. In the heart of the dense, desolate forest lay an abandoned cabin, its time-worn exterior exuding an eerie sense of desolation. The air was thick with foreboding as moonlight trickled through the canopy, casting elongated shadows on the forest floor. Whispers of wind hinted at secrets best left untouched. Amelia, a curious wanderer, had heard tales of this forsaken place, stories told in hushed tones of a malevolent entity, born of ancient curses and forgotten rituals. She had come in search of answers, driven by a macabre curiosity that danced with danger. Upon entering, the cabin exhaled the scent of decay and decayed wood. The floorboards creaked beneath her weight, echoing in the stillness. A single, flickering candle offered a frail source of light. As Amelia ventured deeper, an unsettling chill crept up her spine. In the corner, she discovered a weathered journal, its pages filled with disjointed entries. The tales they unveiled told of a creature, a being neither alive nor truly dead, hungering for the life force of the living. Legend spoke of its power to rend the soul from the body, leaving behind empty husks. Its name, Vorlash. The night grew colder as Amelia's heart raced, gripped by an escalating terror. A rustling sound emanated from the shadows, followed by the distinct drip of moisture. Fear paralyzed her as she realized she was not alone. Emerging from darkness, Borlash materialized, a grotesque fusion of decay and sinew. Its limbs contorted at unnatural angles, and its milky eyes fixated on Amelia with an insatiable hunger. Its inhuman moan reverberated through the cabin, a chilling symphony of suffering. The wretched creature lunged, and Amelia's scream melded with the howling wind. She stumbled back, narrowly avoiding its gnarled claws. Desperation became her ally as adrenaline surged, and she fled, the journal clutched to her chest. Chasing her through the forest, Borlash seemed to manipulate reality itself, warping the trees into spectral figures that reached out with bony fingers. The landscape became a labyrinth of nightmare, each step fraught with the dread of being ensnared. Amelia's gasp for air matched the frantic rhythm of her footsteps. The cabin loomed ahead, a beacon of dubious safety. Bursting through the splintered door, she slammed it shut behind her only to find herself imprisoned with a malevolent force that pursued her. The room darkened, the candle's feeble light flickering. As Amelia turned, she saw Vorlash creeping closer, its mangled form casting grotesque shadows. Desperation fueled her fight as she recited incantations from the journal, words that resonated with ancient power. The cabin trembled, the air crackling with ethereal energy. Vorlash recoiled, its inhuman shriek piercing the night as its form began to fragment. The boundary between reality and nightmare blurred as its existence unraveled. In a blinding burst of light, Vorlash disintegrated, leaving behind an aura of lingering dread. Silence returned to the forest holding its breath once more. Amelia clung to the journal, her heartbeat gradually finding its rhythm. The cursed cabin stood, bearing witness to the horrors that had transpired within its walls. Amelia emerged, forever changed by the encounter, her footsteps marked by the indelible imprint of silent terror, 